Okay, welcome to the Bookmap platform education or uh, platform details. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. We'll get into the, all of this down here, uh, but uh, want to show you this uh, fundamental uh, release. We have the uh, economic data for crude inventories here at 10.30. And we can see liquidity up here at the half figure, 50-50, and down here at 50-10. Okay. Uh, in this area here, oh, look at uh, had some uh, interesting uh, liquidity just uh, popping in here. Um, yeah, look at uh, this area here where you can see the algos start to shut off and uh, some, of the, um, uh, some of the areas start to get dark here just before the release. Okay. So there's a lack of liquidity in the market at the moment. Okay, and that leads to the volatility that we're gonna probably see here in just a moment. And there it is. Okay, right up to the half figure, okay? More liquidity up here at 5060. Where's the liquidity on the bid? It's still down here at 5010, okay? So we'll see now if uh, we come back down. Uh, so it looks like the news is bullish here, okay? Market searching for liquidity. Okay, it's up here at 5060. Okay, a little flip of the book very quickly there from on the half figure. Okay, so larger players here. Okay, coming up to let's see if we can get to, to 5060 now. That would be the target 225 contracts up here. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. And let me take the dot size down a bit. Okay, that looks better. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so a few different things here. Uh, just to, uh, to quickly go over this. Um, look how uh, there is a lack of liquidity and you see the trading that took place and where exactly where it went to fill that longer term high liquidity that stays in the book here. Okay, now we're up to 5060. Okay? 5065, 5070, okay? That's where the liquidity is. The market needs the liquidity to trade. Uh pretty bullish flips here uh as well. Uh they were on the uh uh, on the on the offer here, they flip to the bid, so they want to be buyers at higher levels. Okay. And uh, this interesting pullback here. Okay, this is something that uh, we cover as well during the uh, advanced webinars. Uh, a pullback right here to 5040. Okay, why is that? It actually went down a little bit further. Okay. Well, why did it do that? Is because this is where the last traded volume, big volume, uh, was. It was right here uh, at 5040. Okay. So we come back to test to see uh, if those buyers are still still here and engaged. And and indeed they were. And the sellers, well, you can see the selling here. Okay. But um, uh, it, this is where it got overwhelmed uh, by the buyers up in this area. Okay. And we continue on up, test the highs. Uh, and then they they initiate again here. Okay. Then we finally made it to our 5060 area. Okay. We haven't come up to 5070 yet, but it looks like we're just about to. Okay. Very aggressive underneath here uh, on the uh, on the bid too. Okay. Just need to find those uh, those aggressive buyers here uh, on the market. Um, Market orders uh, to lift the offer up into this 50, 70 to 75 now. Pretty pretty uh, high area of liquidity there. Okay, you can see the number of contracts up here. Okay, any questions on this? I'm going through this rather quickly just because the the um, uh, crude inventory release, uh, usually it's just fast and furious. I don't even know what the, the number is. I didn't even uh, take a look yet. Let me, uh, let me take a quick look.
Yeah, negative six million. Okay, so um, yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty bullish. Okay, look at look at where they're coming in as well here. Okay, uh, with high liquidity at the half figure. Okay, fifty fifty. Okay, one hundred and forty three contracts. So if any if there's any pullbacks here, uh, this is where we're coming. Uh, you know, pretty large pullbacks. Uh, else you can see them, uh, you know, still down at this area, just below the swing here. Okay, with pretty high liquidity as well. So any any questions? You guys have any questions on this? Uh, just just trying to understand. Like, um, uh, let me let me go through it here. The the basic market mechanics in play here, uh, and how important this really is, uh, and um, and how Bookmap is showing this data here for you. Okay, here we come. We're down into this higher level of fifty fifty five. Okay. And uh, let's see if they, they absorb or pull. Okay, they're doing a little bit of both. Okay, but the higher area is down here now, 161 contracts, right? Okay. All right. Well, um, let's see if there's uh, no, no questions here at the moment that we can get, get started with some of the other, um, uh, other issues here that we usually cover in the platform details webinar. Okay. But I did want to show this to you guys since we had the 1030 data here, as you can see, uh, and, uh, and, and cover that. All right. So, uh, wh where am I going with all of this? Well, just to understand these basic market mechanics of really how these markets trade. Uh, and it's uh, uh, obviously there's a lot of um, uh, algorithmic activity, uh, you know, HFT, uh, et cetera. But the mechanics are still the same. The market needs liquidity to trade. It found it here. This was the first... This was the first stop here, um, and uh, and we went right right to it like a magnet. Okay. All right. So uh, this activity that you see here, uh, let me show you in our YouTube channel. Just a moment. Okay, from our playlists here, our educational course here. All right, so here's the playlist for the educational course that comes along with uh, with Bookmap. All right, uh, there's parts one through four. This this part here, uh, it covers uh, part one covers the basic market mechanics. Okay, so if I click on that, you open this one up here. Uh, I want to show you this because although this looks like it might be very basic stuff, we're watching it play out here. Okay, uh, how how transactions take place, uh, how the um, uh, the market um, uh, sweeps through specific areas um, and um, uh, and finds liquidity. Okay, and trades into that liquidity. And that's exactly what we're witnessing here. OK, 
Okay, um, there are buyers in here, but the you know they're 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 searching, they're lifting the offer very very quickly because there is no liquidity here. The liquidity is up here, okay, at at this 50-50 area, and that's exactly where it went to, and that's exactly where we see the first pullback. Okay, when we tra we trade into it and through it uh, very very quickly up here, but then you can see the uh, that we did pull back. Okay. Uh, and uh, we pull back to these areas here, usually where you find, um, uh, you know, the uh, initiated buyers that usually jumped in. And, and we'll probably find more buyers in, in some of these areas uh, as well. Okay. And, and that's exactly what happened. All right. So anyway, uh, I encourage you to uh, go through that and watch the, um, uh, that educational course. I think you'll find it very helpful. Uh, and uh, understanding these markets and um, how important it is to understand liquidity uh, and the traded volume. Okay, so look how we came down here to 50-50. All right, we just traded into it. All right, finding buyers here. We went through a little bit, but uh, the buyers are lined up now. Okay, and we need to see more aggression here on the on the buy side, though. Okay, and then we'll come up. This is where we drop from up here. Uh, that would be the first target to uh, uh, wait for a return uh, to see if this if the sellers are still engaged up here. I I don't see them. I see them up here more at 5070 uh, and above. Okay. Anyway. This is the kind of uh, analysis we do uh, in the advanced webinar. Okay, and uh, I'm going to cover it again uh, today in the advanced webinar. So, um, uh, so you guys, um, uh, if you if you um, uh, are already in trial or um, have have Bookmap or your current customer, uh, then uh, and you're already in here, there's going to be a little bit of a review. Uh, but uh, this is what we go through, and this is what we 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 gauge and understand. Looking at Bookmap, we get the insight here because we have the transparency in the market. Okay, so here we are back up to uh, our, our uh, place where we drop from up here. Uh, and let's find, let's see if we find some sellers up here, right? Okay, there we found a little bit, right? But a uh, little bit of a pullback. Uh, I still think we're coming up to 5070. But um, uh, just because these guys have been waiting up here in the market and knows it can trade up here. Uh, and it looks looks pretty bullish right now. Um, but um, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, you know, we we get, we'll get flips in uh, in the um, in the market uh, very very quickly here, and we'll 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 see it uh, unfold. All right. Okay. Um, so let's uh, let's go through the uh, the regular process here. Uh, what you're looking at in Bookmap, and um, uh, and give a little bit of definition to uh, this quick analysis that we just covered. Okay. And I know that might be a, a rather uh, uh, for some of you. Uh, uh, who are new to trading, this might be uh, kind of uh, uh, advanced. It's actually really simple stuff. Um, uh, just to think of this, uh, forget everything else and think of this as an auction. Uh, that's truly what it is. Uh, we found the sellers up here, for example. That's how the market works. Uh, and um, uh, we traded into them and then we found buyers at a higher level up here and uh, we're above that level now, okay? So the, this is this is the new acceptance after that uh, crude inventories release for for this for this time period, and after that release, this is what we understand uh, value of this instrument. All right. So let me digress, and uh, we'll get into the, um, the the presentation here. Okay. So uh, I already went through the risk disclaimer, but uh, if you want to uh, find out more about uh, Bookmap, go to bookmap.com. Uh, you get the free 14-day trial period, uh, and then you'll be able to access the uh, advanced order flow webinars that I, like I just covered. Okay, that was uh, uh, more like the uh, advanced webinars here, understanding uh, this uh, economic release. Okay, uh, and as well as other resources that you get uh, once you signed up for Bookmap. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's where you can find Bookmap. Um, go to bookmap.com. You click on Explore here. There's some intro videos. We'll, we'll continue to scroll down some of our partners, uh, some of the advantages here. Uh, you will need to uh, have a data 
provider. Okay, we're we're not a data provider. We're just a, a software platform. Okay, and these are the ways that you can connect Bookmap. Okay, you want to give it a trial. Uh, this is where you can find it. Um, and uh, like I mentioned, 14 days. Bookmap Basic 49 per month. Bookmap Advanced is 99 per month. Okay, now the difference between these two. Uh, the ability to trade from the chart with the one-click trading, uh, and then the um, uh, add-on indicators that uh, we've developed for understanding um, order flow uh, a lot better, understanding what's going on in some of these areas. Okay, just like what, we're, what we just covered here, and that was, like I said, more more advanced uh, uh, understanding here of uh, of this price action. Uh, JH, do we have referral programs to your data providers? Just reach out to them. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what the details are with some of the, uh, uh, you know, the the, the business uh, uh, details with some of the um, uh, data providers or brokers. Uh, but um, uh, if you're, <laughs> I just know that if you're interested in Bookmap and uh, you want to connect, uh, that's these are the. Um, uh, here, you know, these these are the uh, uh, data providers and brokers that we uh, we support. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, that's the difference uh, between Bookmap Basic and Advanced. If you're a quant, uh, you're probably going to be looking at very very precise data, uh, your own data sets that you want to study, and uh, there are other features that we enable if you're uh, a quant and looking uh, to uh, harness uh, some of that uh, uh, that data and some of those some of that analysis. Okay, so just reach out to us and uh, we can help you there. Uh, you can uh, also follow us here on Twitter, uh, and then you can also um, uh, come to our YouTube page. Uh, and uh, let me uh, open that up here in another. All right, and here's our YouTube page. Okay, uh, put, uh, the features and components, just go through the basics. These order flow video snippets, okay, this is uh, a lot of what we cover in the more advanced uh, webinars that uh, are at 11 Eastern, uh, like the flip of the book that I just covered here during the, um, the uh, crude inventories. You know, they were here uh, on, the, uh, on the offer over here at 50-50, now they're on the bid, all right? So uh, price is now accepting above 50-50, okay? Very, very uh, easy and visual to understand here. Okay. All right, so um, uh, if you uh, want to uh, uh, learn more, uh, then I would uh, recommend watching these uh, video snippets. And uh, you can see our Pro Trader webinar series we had a, a couple weeks ago, if you want to review some of the professional traders and how they use Bookmap. All right, selected webinars. Uh, you can get a peek into the advanced uh, order flow. Uh, with some of these webinars here, uh, as well as some of the platform details. All right. Okay. All right. Well, let's get into uh, what Bookmap is showing you. Uh, we have some uh, some new traders in here, so uh, uh, welcome to to the uh, webinar. And uh, let's uh, uh, put a little definition to what you're viewing here. All right. So I'm going to start off by taking off layers of data. Okay, and then we'll define them as we go through. Okay, so here, here we have five minute candlestick chart. So we all know what a candlestick chart looks like, open, high, low, close of a five minute period. All right, um, and um, uh, you know, the candlestick chart, uh, I mean, I don't know, I, I, I like candlesticks. I, I don't have anything against them. I just think that there's a lot of transparency that is lacking here uh, and uh, uh, this is where uh, Bookmap offers transparency into what's going on behind these candles. Okay, so you can see the buying buying pressure here in the wicks, right? But you can still see we opened uh, a higher than we closed here. Okay, so there's still a little bit of uh, selling in here, but uh, you see some buying pressure come in. You see selling pressure in here, but there, you know, it's a little bit bullish for over that five-minute period. And then obviously here's our big candle of the uh, of the release. Okay, we have no clue though what happened in here. 
uh, we have no idea that the, up at 50-50 there was a lot of liquidity and we went through that area. Okay, uh, We have no clue about the pullback that we saw to the volume uh, that occurred here on that candlestick. Uh, so all of that uh, data is lacking here and that's a problem. Uh, if we're making financial decisions uh, in the marketplace, we want more transparency. Uh, and um, uh, that's where Bookmap can help you. Uh, it can help you make more insightful trading decisions. So let's take a look at just, we'll start with just historical best bid and offer. Okay. And we start to see microstructures evolve uh, from historical best bid and offer. It gives some definition to these candles. Okay. Now let's put on the volume dots. Okay. Now the volume dots here are going to show you where the transactions took place. Okay, uh, and uh, this is important. We want to understand where traders are committed. Look at our little area that we looked at here, and we saw the pullback here. Okay, right to the 50-50 figure. Okay, let's mark that up. Okay, right here. Well, let's go with a volume dot. Okay, uh, so a little bit below. Okay, that's where we came to. Okay, it, and, uh, and that's where we've accepted above, okay? You can say it's the fi half figure up here, and it's important, of course, uh, but it's not just because it's the figure, it's because there's volume, there's traded volume up here. This is, this is why uh, we have accepted above this area, okay? We well, can see that here now in book map, why? Okay, you would also think maybe, maybe it was here, you know, uh, down at, at uh, 5045, because, uh, you know, look at the volume profile here, uh, and you can understand that, yep, we're, we're, we're accepting above this area. Okay. So, uh, uh, but uh, now we have the, the insight. Okay. We can see it here. Okay. This, this is why. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not the volume profile here. All right. Uh, it's the commitment of these traders at this area. Okay. And that's a nice, that's nice insight and transparency into these markets. Okay. Uh, now, uh, that's half the picture, okay? This fundamental release uh, is uh, illustrates the importance of understanding the, the limit order book, okay? The dome, the depth of market, okay? And uh, here's the dome over here in book map, okay? And uh, here in book map, we can see, or in the dome, we can see where traders are lined up to provide liquidity, okay? This is an important area. Uh, to or to understand the um, the auction here, the problem with the dome is look how these numbers are changing as we're coming through our 50/50 area. Okay, we're breaking down through that area here. Okay, sellers are taking control of this area now. Right, all of these guys above here, well, they're going to be trap volume if we can get down to some of these levels uh, and maybe knock some of their stops uh, out of the marketplace. Okay. Uh, so uh, we'll see if we get down there or if we will see if more buyers become engaged in this market. All right. Um, so um, uh, anyway, uh, the dome, uh, it, this is, it gives us a lot of insight. We can see where traders are lining up in the current market. Okay, the problem with the dome okay, is, uh, and if I zoom in here a bit, um, the, uh, the dome uh, just gives us the current market condition. All right. Uh, when these numbers change, we've lost that data. Okay. We don't know what it is. Uh, it's just refresh that, uh, that level. And this is where book map, uh, can be helpful because it, it, um, we define, uh, that data here in a heat map. Okay. It's in this window here. Here's our best bid and offer. And this is liquidity here in the heat map. High areas of liquidity are going to be painted bright white. Okay. So it's pretty, pretty bright right now. Uh, in fact, I'm going to have to, um, uh, kind of bring up some of the uh, settings here. Uh, it doesn't take much, just very quickly. Okay, well, there's a lot of liquidity in here. Okay, 202 contracts here. Okay, buyers are down here, 5035. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's the dome, uh, and, it, and it's really good to read that in the current market condition. Uh, problem with the dome is, like I said, once this, this data refreshes, it's lost. Okay? This is where book map shines because we take that data 
and we project it on the chart historically. So now I understand how the um, auction unfolded historically. Where were they bidding? Where were they offering? Uh, how much? What was their behavior like? Did they start to pull liquidity? Was it filled? Uh, what about areas around it? Did they bid it up? Uh, did they the flip of the book? Uh, did they did they support price uh, that was on the offer is now on the bid? Okay. What about in some of these areas? Did they bid up and, and they certainly did in these areas here? Okay. Uh, and uh, what about on the offer? How are they behaving? Okay. They actually were getting pretty aggressive on the offer here, lowering liquidity. Okay. Starting to understand not only where the market can trade in terms of the liquidity, but also understanding some of the players, individual actors. Okay, like this little area right here. Let's just zoom in here. I'm going to click on the hand tool, hover over this area, and zoom in. Look how this player up here is providing high liquidity uh, at, up here at 50.63, and then pulled that and got more aggressive on the offer providing more liquidity at a lower level. It's got to be the same player because the moment they pulled, they added one tick lower, a okay, high probability. Uh, and then we can gauge the intent of this trader at this area. Did he really want to trade? Okay, we can zoom in here. It doesn't take much and we can see he certainly did not. Okay, he pulled that high liquidity here. We can use the um, data tip tool, hover over here, 208 contracts, pull down to 160, 150, okay? So, you know, you, you, we just lost a, a pretty high percentage of liquidity here in the market trades on, right out on, on through, okay? So now we can start to gauge this player. What is their intent? Why do they get aggressive like this? Okay. Well, maybe, maybe uh, you know, I mean, they, we know that they did not have the intent to trade because they pulled. Okay. So maybe their game is to fill this higher liquidity that's waiting down here at 55. Okay. This is kind of spoofing type of action. All right. Perhaps. I mean, we don't know. Uh, but uh, uh, we just, we know the behavior here. Okay. We can also gauge the behavior. Look at the behavior here. It's much different with this guy down here at 55. We trade into that area of high liquidity, okay? Uh, look at the size of the liquidity here, uh, 479 contracts. That's huge in this market, okay? And we trade right into it, okay? Uh, 276 traded, okay? 280 traded in that area. They wanted to trade. These guys, this is the distinction between longer term high liquidity that stays in the book and wants to trade at this level okay we know that this is fact uh, we can see it here okay we see the transactions take place all right and then they started to pull though too okay that was uh, 348 uh, they they filled about 280 and then they pulled okay and then went down to went from 348 down to 150 so 150 contracts were pulled Okay. So it's actually a combination. It's a bit of both, but they, they were willing to stay in this market and, and trade and they did. All right. So now we know in, in the dome, that would be really hard to read. Did they really want to trade here or not? Okay. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, because, uh, a lot of this, uh, uh, data here, uh, in the dome, um, is, um, uh, a lot of traders will say, well, you, you never know. It's all its all a bunch of um, uh, smoke and mirrors, and, and we don't know the intent of these traders, and we never will. Well, I'm showing you right now uh, emphatically that they had the intent to trade here, and these guys up here on the offer did not. We know that, okay? All right. Let's take a look at current price now and what's going on here, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll end the the webinar and uh, and jump over to the um, the advanced uh, analysis webinar. Okay, well you can see the the uh, uh, let's take off the candlesticks here, and we'll put on the indicators too. Okay, we have uh, proprietary indicators here uh, showing areas up in these. You can see 287 contracts traded that were not in the limit order book. Okay, this, this is these are iceberg 
uh, orders uh, getting filled, not showing their hand uh, in the uh, limit order book. They don't want to be seen. They want to get filled. And that's why primarily you can see why we didn't reach our, our 50, 70 area up here, that high liquidity. They're getting filled beforehand. Okay, uh, look at look at the uh, the icebergs, the size of these icebergs compared to the uh, on the bid. Okay, this, these are really really high, 424 filled before hitting our 5070. Okay, that's why we didn't reach it. Okay, these guys are absorbing uh, without showing their their uh, limit orders. All right, and that's probably why what what uh, started to cause uh, the uh, uh, this kind of uh, a breach of this 50-50 uh, area, and now we're accepting down below it, okay? Uh, putting the pieces together, okay? Understanding these areas of high liquidity uh, and icebergs uh, and uh, really starting to understand what's going on in this market and how does it trade, okay? All right, guys. Well, let's, uh, let's end it up uh, and... Um, uh, if you're uh, interested in uh, in giving Bookmap a try, you get a 14-day uh, free trial, uh, and then uh, you can come into the uh, 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 advanced webinar, uh, ask questions in there, uh, understand uh, order flow uh, at a higher level here, uh, and um, uh, and just uh, uh, continue on asking questions. All right, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.